Hello pilots and ground crew. Well this is just for pilots really. Uh, if you own one of these, the Tenergy Evolution, which I know a lot of you do, uh, there's a new firmware update. It came out end of March. So just a couple of days, end of March, end of March, end of October, a couple of days ago. Now there's a problem with the old firmware. Now, if you updated the firmware back in March time, they're asking you, Hobby King's asking you, to update the firmware again with a Pacific type. There's two types on their actual website. I'll put some up as we're gabbing. Uh, you go on to the Hobby King website, you find the Tenergy Evolution, and you go to, uh, I think it's called File Uploads or File Downloads. Like I say, I'll put some up. And you click on that and there's two versions of firmware updates. The top version not ending in the letter X, X for X-ray, not ending in that is for people who have not done a firmware update since they've got one of these. That's the one you want if you have not done one. Now there is a problem if you've already done your firmware update back in March, which most of us who own these would have done. Now if you did that, they are asking you to click on the bottom firmware update, which ends in the letter X. Okay, so it's just a case of they've got a problem, they've found out what it is and they want you to do a firmware update ending in the letter X at the bottom. So I know that all sounds a bit weird and confusing, so just to recap, if you did your firmware update back in March, then re-update with your firmware file that you see in Hobby King ending in the letter X. If you've never done a firmware update, go to the site and pick the one just above it. Like I say, I'll put some up because I can hear myself talking, it sounds a bit confusing myself. But the bottom line is Hobby King's found that there's a firmware problem and they've corrected it and you just want to do your update. I've done mine and I didn't lose any of my settings, but don't forget I already did mine in March, so maybe with a new firmware update, if you've never done one before, you might lose your settings. But uh, I did the repair firmware update, the one ending in the letter X. I keep saying that so you don't put the wrong one on. Yeah, so didn't lose any of my settings. The only thing that changed was the brightness screen I had to adjust again and the, the volume. That's it. But uh, I didn't lose any of my models or all like that. Well, you only get five, but I didn't lose any. So there you go then. If you did it back in March, you want your firmware update ending in the letter X. If you haven't done a firmware update, you want the one just above it. Okay then, hope this helps. And I know I was waffling a bit, but I wanted to get this out just in case uh, nobody knew. Okay then, pilots, thanks a lot and cheers.